Information in this video is not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. All content contained through this program is for general information purposes only. The producers make no representation and assume no responsibility for the accuracy of information contained in this program, and such information is subject to change without notice. You are encouraged to confirm any information obtained from this program with other sources and review all information regarding any medical condition or treatment with your physician. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay seeking medical treatment because of something you heard on this program. Hello, welcome back to Aromatherapy 101, a journey with essential oils. I'm Beth Caruso, and this is Dennis Schleicher, and today we have an amazing essential oil we're talking about. It's called frankincense. The two types of frankincense we'll be talking about are Boswellia carini and Boswellia floriana. And frankincense is sometimes referred to as olibalum, which is, um, you don't have to know the technical terms for it, just ask for frankincense because everybody knows it's a biblical oil. And it's also used for stress, anxiety, depression. It reduces inflammation. It can boost your immune system. It can also help uh, fight and combat cancer. And we're gonna go a little more depth in depth with that. Um, and some testimonials about how that can help with cancer later in the show, Beth. That's right. First, I wanna show you what this wonderful ancient resin looks like. This is the dried resin of frankincense, and this is what's made into the essential oil. And here we have the essential oil. So that's what we're talking about today. First, a journey. Frankincense oil is sourced from the resin of the Boswellia carteri or Boswellia frariana tree that's commonly grown in Somalia. This tree is unique in growing with very little soil in dry and desolate conditions. Frankincense is one of the most ancient healing essential oils. We know it was used over 2,500 years ago in Egypt along with the other essential oils of myrrh, spikenard, clove, nutmeg, cypress, cedarwood, and cinnamon as part of the embalming and mummification process. The word frankincense comes from the term franc encense, which means quality incense in Old French. Frankincense has been associated with many different religions over the years, including Christianity. It was one of the three gifts given to Jesus by the wise men or magi in the Christmas story. It has also been used in rituals in the Catholic Church for centuries. It is one of the most healing oils used today. So frankincense is often referred to as or it's described its scent. It can be, um, typical scent aroma is medium to intense. It also um, is sweet, uh, rich, warm, and slightly spicy, which, uh, so it has a little bouquet or a mixture that I would say is, is complex, but yet fun to work with. Yes, it's a heavier oil, so it's known as a base note, and base notes in aromatherapy evaporate the least quickly. All right, today we're gonna to be talking, as I said before, about two kinds of frankincense, and these are largely interchangeable. So when we talk about the benefits, you can use either one. Um, one is called Boswellia carini, and what makes that one stand out before we get yes. going? Okay, the, the Boswellia carini is more used in skincare application, wound healing, um, 
again, they are interchangeable, but that one is more focused on those specific issues. Okay, and then the other one, Boswellia feriana. Boswellia feriana is more for pain, inflammation, and also um, there was something else you had mentioned earlier and I, it slipped my mind, Beth, that you talked about. Um, oh no, you said it was more for pain. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So yes, it is more for pain and inflammation, but again, it can be used in skincare applications as well. Yes. So um, if you have one or the other, please feel free to use it interchangeably. So just a review before we get started, when you use essential oils, you have to use them either with a carrier oil, which is something like jojoba oil, yes. um, olive oil, coconut oil, actual oils. Essential yes. oils are called oils, but they're not really oil. And the reason why they're not oils is we discussed in previous shows that they're lapophilic, which means they evaporate and they're sensitive to light and heat. So you want to make sure you keep your caps on because frankincense is considered a rare and precious oil. So it is a little bit on the pricier side, yes. but I have to say you do get what you pay for. So if you're going to spend $80 for a half ounce of frankincense or you can yes. buy it in a smaller five mil bottle as well. Um, it's, you want to make sure the cap's on mm -hmm. because if you keep the cap off, it's going to oxidize and it's going to evaporate. And it's just like leaving, you know, when your kids leave the soda can right. or the, the cap off the soda bottle and you just bought a gallon and you're like, come on kids, why did you leave? It's flat. So you don't want your essential oils to go flat. Yeah, except this is a 80, 90, or more dollar bottle if it's truly pure frankincense. So um, you're literally letting an 80 or $90 value just, just slip evaporate. into the air. <laughs> <laughs> Although you will get the benefits, like we're diffusing it today and it is making the studio smell amazing. But it also blends well with oils like lemon, lime, any citrus, orange, bergamot, black pepper, uh, tangerine. So if, if the oil is a little intense for you, you can alter it based on your specific needs. And we will have some recipes up on our Facebook page that we'll talk about different applications That's and uses right. that we talk about in today's show that you can see and you can just go to our Facebook page and read up on it or you can contact us if you have any specific issues. But again, we always recommend consulting your medical doctor or professional. Yes, of course. Um, going back to another way that you can disperse yes. essential oils, it's with alcohol. Um, so if you're taking a bath, if you want to take a bath with frankincense, you can use just a little bit of um, rubbing alcohol yes. or some al other alcohol and drop the drops of essential oil onto it. And as we said before, the infuser yes. um, works very well. Inhalation um, affects our limbic system and our emotions. Yes, in, the, in inhalation, the nose is the only hole that's directly connected to your brain. So it affects you, which is your serotonin levels. So it affects you on emotional, physical, and aesthetical well-being. That's and right. To go back to what uh, Beth was saying, to edify about taking a bath, you can just use, if you have the cheapest vodka around in the house, yeah. um, sometimes people use vodka for cleaning parts or, or things, you can just take a cap full of vodka and pour the essential oils in that and pour that in your bath. Uh, but I also love to put it in a bath oil, an unscented bath sure, oil. Sure, that's, can use it that's that way. lovely too. Yes. It's lovely too. I know some people have um, jets in their bathtubs and they don't want you to use any oil like that because it could destroy that system. So in that situation, the alcohol is a good um, Carrier. fit. Carrier. Yes. Delivery system. Yes. 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 Perfect. <laughs> okay. So as far as side effects, frankincense is very safe to use. Yes, it is. Um, there are very few side effects. The only thing that we would caution people about is to put a drop on your skin with a carrier oil ahead of time just to make sure you're not having any reaction to it. Again, that would be extremely rare, um, but it's in general very safe to use. The biggest precaution that we have for people is that it does have some blood thinning components. 
And so if you're on Coumadin or Plavix or any other blood thinning medication, you need to consult your physician and use it with caution. Exactly. So frankincense also helps with depression, anxiety. It reduces um, your heart rate or it actually lowers your blood pressure. So if you That's have right. high blood pressure, it might be something you want to incorporate in a pure plant aroma or a cologne you're using or wearing it on your body and you can mix it like we said with citruses and lavender so you're not smelling just a straight frankincense. Um, when inhaled, it slows down and reduces your heart rate. It is great for anti-anxiety, depression, it reduces the ability um, for prescription drugs, which we all want to lessen our dependency on, right. on prescription drugs. And that's what Beth, being a nurse, and myself being a healthcare practitioner as well, is I want to see people lessen their dependency on pharmaceutical drugs, and that's what we're here to help you do. It's wonderful if you can take care of yourself just at home. Um, it's, I'm sorry, Beth. Um, it's also good for stress management. It supports uh, meditation and focus and prayer. Uh, it encourages emotional healing, reduces loneliness and grief. So it's wonderful for somebody that's going through loss of a pet or a loved one yes. because it helps. And, and I, I'm not quite sure as to the significance of the religious when the priest goes around and does it around the casket. But I think that it has something to do with helping to relieve the uh, stress of the people that have lost their loved ones. Yes, I mean, for a millennia, it's been known for its spiritual effects and helping people mm. come um, become more spiritual, become more centered, which is why it's used in meditation, which is why it's been used, especially in the Catholic Church for many types of rituals mm. over thousands of years. Excellent. So mental and emotional benefits are, are just amazing, mm. like you said. On top of that, Dennis, it has some wonderful immune-boosting benefits as well. We know it's antibacterial. We know it's anti-infective. Um, it has been shown to fight viruses and yes. even cancers. Cancer, yes. So we're going to go into that a little more depth. Frankincense oil has shown to help fight cancer cells, specific, specific ty types of cancer cells. A 2012 study even found that the chemical components found in frankincense called AKBA has um, been successful in killing the live cancer cells. Um, and it also becomes resistant to cancer growing in your body. Um, it also is good for oral care. So you can, if you have gum or hygiene issues, you can mm -hmm. use it in, um, for gingivitis, bad breath, uh, toothpaste, mouthwash, sores, and other types of infections. And you can yes. also use myrrh, clove, and frankincense together um, to help fight these issues. And if you don't have a toothpaste, uh, Beth and I do have a toothpaste that has it in it, but um, if you don't have that toothpaste, then you can actually mix some on baking soda yes. and, and rub it on your feet, on your teeth, or dab it on the areas. Or you can take a, um, a little eyedropper, put some fractionated coconut oil. Again, you want to make sure the essential oils are pharmaceutical grade because now you're taking them internally or clinically grade. Put um, frankincense, myrrh, and clove in some fractionated coconut oil with an eyedropper and you can just dab it on your sensitive areas. And, and I have receding gum lines and that is a disease that you have. Right. So it's, it's unfortunately, it's preventable but not curable. So I am somebody that uses that on a regular basis. Yeah, I mean, how wonderful. You're getting so many health benefits even when you're using it mm. for just oral health, you're, you're getting all those other benefits, yes. um, a mental and emotional that we already described. So because it is so um, antibacterial, it's not loaded with harmful chemicals right. like a lot of household items are that you find in the store, people use this in their concoctions for their home cleaning. Yes. You can put it in a bottle with vinegar, half and half, um, and spray that on surfaces. You can spray it on tiles. You can spray it on um, 
countertops. countertops. Yes, all kinds and of again, things like that. And again, mixing that with lemon, you're going to get even a higher antibacterial and, and mold and, and, and fungus reduction when, with your cleaning supplies. That's right. Um, you know, always think of what else will complement it. Correct. Tea tree as well is very complementary right. to kill some. So when you're looking at a half mm -hmm. ounce bottle of frankincense, there can be anywhere from two to three hundred drops of oil in here. So you have to, if you're looking to pay ninety or eighty dollars for this bottle, um, you have to divide that by three hundred drops, and that's what you're going to be paying per drop. So it really is something yes. that you don't have to buy on a regular basis. Right. But to go back to what you said earlier about no harmful chemicals, I really need to stress: if you're buying, if you're not buying high grade, clinical grade, or pharmaceutical grade. There are no standards set by the FDA. So with a pharmaceutical grade oil, it has to have the standards of the FDA. If you're using something that is, let's say, therapeutic, which is a made up term in the industry to give the oil, so people may say to you, oh, my oils are therapeutic. That is not pharmaceutical grade. So you wanna make sure if there, there are thousands of pounds of this frankincense resin that actually yes. goes into this bottle. Yes. So if you're taking it internally, you could be alterly or, or, um, ingesting a couple hundred pounds of pesticides. So you want to make sure that you are using that one that is pharmaceutical or clinical grade. That's right. That's right. And and you can do um, a swishing around with the mouth Correct. there too. You, you don't have to ingest it. Um, so that brings us to, so we've got mouth care covered. Mm -hmm. Yes. What about colds and flus? Flu. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it actually kills uh, the cold and flu virus. So on contact. So if you look at the flu um, in a test tube and put a drop of frankincense, which our company has done this in our research in science and pharmaceutical lab, is it just kills it. It's gone. So imagine if you're around people that are sick um, every day or your kids are sick or they're going to school. If you're utilizing or diffusing um, something with frankincense in there, frankincense baswala, you're going to kill the flu virus So and you won't be sick. Now myself, I don't encourage this for everybody, but I choose not to get the flu vaccine because that's just my personal preference and I want to stay healthy. And, and I can knock on wood um, or knock on my co-host. Um, I have not been sick and I have been running around like crazy. If a lot of you watch me on Facebook, you see I'm up at six in the morning and I don't go to bed until one or two at night. So I really owe it to essential oils for keeping me healthy and vibrant and able to educate everyone. Absolutely, well, um, because the frankincense is so immune boosting, a lot of people, what they'll do is they'll take a drop or two and add it to a carrier oil in the morning, rub it to the soles of their feet to stay healthy, even when they're not sick. But Dennis, going back to the flu yes. and colds, it's also very beneficial it's an as an yeah. expectorant, exactly. And it's an anti-inflammatory, so it helps to ease inflammation, inflammation. in the dig yes. digestive tract as well. And it also helps with lung infection. So I just took, um, and it acts on um, anxiety and nasal passages. So mm -hmm. I just added, this is actually a plastic bottle um, and it inside is a glass bottle. So you don't wanna put essential oils in a plastic bottle uh, because they will eat away at that. And oils and water do not mix. So if you add essential oils, like sometimes I can see the oil floating on top, you just need to close the lid, shake it before drinking it. Mm -hmm. And I have lemon in here. Mm -hmm. And so I'm gonna actually drink two drops of frankincense. Mm. Wonderful. Wonderful. And again, it helps with my gums and it helps calm me down, which is something what I need. <laughs> um, some people, when they have a cold too, they also will do just one or two drops in honey. Um, and that is useful yes. as well. So we've covered that. What about um, more care. beneficial beauty effects? Yes. Um, so frankincense, it's also great with healing scar tissue. 
Um, it's also great with healing skin that's been affected by pregnancy, so stretch marks or mm. other types of blemishes. Um, with frankincense, it's been shown to increase elasticity in skin. It's a toner too, so it uplifts the skin. Mm. In addition, frankincense is a wonderful wound healer. Um, it's great for scar tissue. It's if you've been through surgery mm. and you're trying to heal a scar from surgery, it's fantastic in that way. Um, it can kind of counter those pesky things that result from pregnancy, like stretch marks. And so use it anytime you have um, yes. cell regeneration that needs to happen with a wound or over a scar. It's wonderful in that yes. way. So as a cosmetic chemist, I love to use frankincense in all types of skincare applications because it can help with acne. It can help with mature skin. Any resin oil like frankincense, myrrh, um, any type of uh, sandalwood is great for mature skin. So finding a company that has an unscented uh, cream or night cream or lotion, or even just using a nice facial oil, sure. and then adding a few drops to it and rubbing it in an upward outward motion will help fight and combat aging. I'm 45 years old and I've been using essential oils on my skincare for, I would say when I started in my teens, um, I was actually started studying aromatherapy when I was 19. So th there's a lot of years I've been using essential oils and I am not told that I look 45. So um, I don't know if the camera does that justice, but it's, um, again, as Beth said, it's a powerful astringent, uh, meaning it helps with skin cell regeneration. Mm -hmm. It also is used to reduce acne and blemishes and it lar large pores, so it tones and tightens any type of large pores. It helps lift and tighten naturally, slow the signs of aging. The oil can be used anywhere on your skin. Uh, become saggy um, around the jawline, around the chin. Something else that frankincense is amazing with is um, hormonal balance. If you have some type mm. of hormonal imbalance. Does that um, work for men too? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. All I've read about is how it affects women. women if yes. you have unruly menses yes. um, with lots of symptoms, headaches, um, bad mood, mm. things like that, cramping. Yes. It's very, very beneficial. I've made a lot of blends with frankincense, geranium, and a few other oils for women yeah. to help ease with menstrual cramps or going through menopause. And I'm a firm believer that, to all the women out there watching, that man go through what we call menopause. Uh, it's the midlife crisis where you I, gotta buy the new car and the sports car. So I I'm a firm it. believer, yes. Yeah, I believe it. So do you think frankincense would help with that? Oh yes, I, I, I did notice a time um, a few years ago where I was going through my menopause phase, if you may, Beth, <laughs> and by utilizing frankincense and a few other oils, I think it, it, it definitely helped and it lessened the effects, so. Oh, that's wonderful, that's wonderful. So fatigue, mood swings, um, it, it just helps you feel more yes. balanced in general. And a lot of that has to do with the mental and emotional health um, yes. that it promotes. But what you can do for menstrual cramps or even any type of stomach cramps with um, frankincense, use a carrier oil. And there's something in massage therapy called the I love you stroke. Mm. You make an eye. Okay, and basically what you're doing is following the pattern of your colon. Oh. So it helps with cramping because it's so anti-inflammatory. So I, I, so you stroke that way, and then I'm L. Learning, I'm learning something here, so. I used to be a massage therapist too. So L, yep. so you're going up, up, and this is in the shape of your large colon. Colon, ah. That's an L. Right? I never knew that. Yes. In so 27 then, years <laughs> of studying aromatherapy, I never knew I could take my frankincense and yes. rub okay, it along. Yes, okay, so that, so we have I, then we have L. Ah. Okay, 
And then you're saying, I love you to your body by using I this. I love that. You. And then you go back from the beginning, across, and down. And that's the shape of your large colon. I'm a firm believer, Beth, in, in you know, affirmations and being positive and uplifting people. Right. And I never post anything negative on Facebook. Um, I had the wonderful privilege of being invited to the eWomen's Network as their honorary male guest and last night. And they were all about empowering women and teaching you about self-acceptance and love. And one of the things they talk about is looking in the mirror and saying, I love you. I love and approve of myself. And, you know, there was a while, Beth, that I weighed 80 pounds heavier, and it was a lot harder for me to look in the mirror and do that. So that is another approach, I think, of loving yourself in the morning is using that technique with your frankincense. Right, right. Yeah. And also to, to just piggyback on that, after you do the I love you stroke, what you can also do is you want to massage in circles in that same direction. So um, that will help with cramping for bad PMS. So that's going to bring us on to our next topic, which is eases digestion, digestion and GI, Crohn's, ulcerated colitis, and other issues. Um, excess gas, it aids in digestion. Um, it produces bowel movements. And I actually found, um, I'll be honest with you, I was diagnosed with Crohn's and ulcerated colitis um, about 10 years ago. And my doctor now, of course, I'm using a pharmaceutical grade probiotic in a conjunction with it, says that if he did not diagnose me with it, he wouldn't even know I had it. So uh, through the use of essential oils and a pharmaceutical grade probiotic, um, it, I can attest to that. It helps uh, flush out excess water from the atom, which also helps with bloating which is good, um, and just any type of, it speeds up digestive enzymes. So there's multiple benefits that that can add. Um, anything else you'd like to, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. That's, that's right, that's, that's a right. huge issue. And you know, when we were growing up as kids, we never heard about all this IBS or irritable bowel syndrome, and now it's like everybody seems to have it. And what I, equated to is a lot of the plastics and polymers and the watered bottles and, and or the plastic bottles and and you know there's studies now that show that there's birth control in, in water and there's pain pills and we're ingesting this which is affecting us on so many levels so we need to do what we can to absorb our nutrients even better that's right Correct, Beth? that's right yeah. that's right so um sleep aid Let's talk about sleep. Okay, so um, it acts as a natural sleep aid. Frankincense oil um, lowers the levels of anxiety. It also helps with chronic stress that we discovered that we um, uh, discussed earlier. Uh, it helps falling asleep a lot easier. So just taking a few drops of frankincense, putting it on your nose, or rubbing it behind your ears, or sprinkling it on your sheets or pillow, um, and also adding lavender to that will also it won't hurt. So. That's right. Yes. So um, the next thing I want to talk about, it's very important to a lot of people. Unfortunately, there are so many people who are in chronic pain or in a chronic inflammatory state. Frankincense is lovely for this. You can use either species, the Carini or the Freriana, but I think the Freriana is much stronger for yes. pain. Um, Someone who is very close to me personally it struggles with arthritis. And so what they do is they take a couple drops in some carrier oil, mm. and they, in, in their case, they use coconut oil, um, and just rub it into the joint where they're yes. having the most pain. Yes. And it is amazing. It doesn't normally take the pain completely away but it reduces it by a large amount. You know, the majority of pain will go away. Let's say, say they were rating their pain at mm. a 10 or an eight, it'll go down to a two. Mm. So they can function and they can be, and it's bearable again. So that's extremely important. And I rub um, a drop on the soles of my feet morning and evening. 
and I just basically will take one drop, put it on my sole, I will rub it from the sole all the way to the toes and up on the topper, and if I have any left over, I'll go up my calves, and then I'll do the other drop on the right leg, and I do this before I go to bed mm. and when I get out of the shower in the morning. Because again, there's 7,200 nerve endings, and you know this as a reflexologist, right. there's 7,200 nerve endings in your feet, and all those nerve endings connect to all parts of your body. Absolutely. So, um, any joint pain, any arthritis? Yes. What about um, headaches or stiff muscles? Have you ever used it for that? Yes, I have, um, but it depends on, on the patient or the client that I'm working with. Okay. Um, I like more of like the birch and the winter greens for you know, any type of stiff muscles. Right. But if it's more of like a chronic pain, then I would reach for my frankincense. Yes, uh, absolutely. Like you said, it's more for, you know, if you have a pain of a 10 and you need to bring it down to a level two, whenever you go to the emergency, the ED emergency department, they right. have these little faces that have, what is your pain level, 10 or a one or a zero, and you have to rate it. If you're at a 10 and want to reduce it, then definitely go for your frankincense. Absolutely. So, Dennis, why don't we get to some do-it-yourself recipes? I'm all about that. So, we're going to uh, talk about blending essential oils with coconut oil, or I like fractionated coconut oil, but today we just have regular coconut oil. So, right. um, and what I like, a lot of companies in their blends, to make them more cost-effective, they will use sweet almond oil. And sweet almond oil goes rancid. It has a shelf life of about four to six months. And it causes the caps to get sticky and gooey. And then when you go to smell it in a few years, the essential oil does act as a natural preservative. Yes. So it will extend the shelf life of the sweet almond oil. But I use fractionated coconut oil or regular coconut oil or coconut mixed with aloe because it doesn't go rancid. So if you're going to dilute your blend so it lasts longer, I would definitely go that route. Okay, so. so what we need for this is coconut oil. Like we said, we have the fractionated coconut oil, 10 drops of alang alang, and 10 drops of frankincense. Um, oh, excuse me, sorry for reaching over you. Now, what this is used for is to reduce scar tissue. I'm going to get a hit of alang alang. Oh, mango I love that. We need to do that soon. Mm -hmm. So, so you want to talk about it while I'm installing so, the drops um, here? So 10 drops, it's very relaxing. Um, it combines well with the frankincense. And that's your Lang Lang. All right, so then we've got the frankincense. Oh, and just put this over your scar tissue. Um, couple times a day is fine and see over time if that helps. It's actually a very, very simple, simple formula. Some people make just very small amounts of this at a time because they don't want it to go bad. So bad. they'll so make a portion for a, a week bit. or so, um, use it several times a day, every day for a week. And you saw how simple it was to make. Mm. One minute. So go back and mm. then just, oh, that's heavenly. Go back and make it again in a week and then it'll last for a very long time. I'm going to use, next I'm going to use a little bit just of this coconut oil on the top that wasn't in the bottle. And I'm going to show you what I do for um, just an evening routine. Yes. It's very simple. Um, Dennis was talking about anti-aging. Mm. All you do is, I love using lavender. And then I add that with frankincense. Two drops of the frankincense. Now, I actually use, uh, Beth and I have an unscented um, cream and, and a night cream and day cream uh, that we, we use. Um, and and then you just just put that on put and it on yeah, your face at night at night so wonderful so that's Excellent. great so uh, well I guess that brings us to summing it up correct that's right um, I did want to point out though since I have the lavender out you'll notice um, 
You've probably already seen our lavender show. We talk a lot about the benefits of lavender. And lavender is also an anti-inflammatory. It's also yes. used for pain. It's also used for skin care. Um, so you're thinking, well, same, same thing, right? Mm. Not exactly. Mother Nature is so amazing in that it gives us an abundant array of things we can use for the same issues. And you can choose, if you like the scent of lavender better, you could choose that. Mm. Or I like all the oils. I'm I sorry. know, I like them too. I don't like to choose. But some people, you know, mm. they love one oil, but they don't like the aroma of another. The wonderful thing about Mother Nature is you do have all those choices, Correct. but What's preferable to me is to combine things that yes. are lovely like that, because then you're going to get a huge array of benefits and won't miss anything you in won't. the process. That's great. So, so basically, to sum up, frankincense. It can be used to, you know, get rid of unwanted bugs or critters in your house. Uh, it can also be used to relieve uh, stress. Uh, rid your home of harmful chemicals. It can also be used for anxiety, mature skin that right. we talked about. Boosting your immune, Boost immune. Boosting your immune system. Everybody needs a stronger immune system, especially with all the pesticides and everything out there. You want to be able to um, experience that. Um, inhale or diffuse to clean your air. I like that term. I'm cleaning your air. That's right. So. Um, use essential oils to clean your hair, air to leave an aromatic lifestyle. And I actually said hair instead of air, but, you but could. it can be used in your hair. Um, I you was going to say, add it to your shampoo, yes, add a couple drops. Yes. And mix with rosemary and uh, sage or clary sage, it works amazing for preventing hair loss, removing DHT, dihydrotestosterone, which again, I'm 45 and everyone in my family is bald and I do not have much of a receding hairline and I'm proud of that. So oh, awesome. We're excited. Yeah, looking good for 45. So. Well, to close off, we hope you have a wonderful week experimenting with frankincense. Please write to us through email or message us through Facebook if you want to know and where we, to find the essential, essential oils. oils. And we want to help you. We want you to ask us questions because, again, you might appear on our show or we might mention you on our show and say, you know, Beth Caruso from the town of Windsor wants to know bada bing, bada boom. So l give us your questions and we will definitely answer them. And I guess until next time, yes, live an aromatic lifestyle. Yeah.